guys, it's Christina from Rawfully Organic and Fully Raw. And I'm super excited because today I have a very dear friend of mine in the kitchen with me, Miss Megan Hello. Elizabeth. And I am so excited that she's here because, well, many of you guys know her and she does recipes as well um, for eating raw. And because I'm so excited that she's here, I really wanted to make her a love pie as a thank you for coming to visit me on Rockley Organic. She came here this week so that she could check out the co-op and you know meet other cooperators and get to see our boxes of produce from Rockley Organic. And what'd you think? Did you have fun? It was awesome. I got to help a little bit. Christina gave me some little side jobs to help with. So I can get in the action a little bit. That's right. It's an awesome co-op and um, I'm glad I got to see it. And meet all the happy people. That's right. Yeah. And so we are going to make Miss Megan Elizabeth a love pie to express for her the gratitude and love in my heart for coming to visit. Thank you. And she's going to make this recipe <laughs> with me as we go along. Yes. Yeah, so she looks a little gonna... bit of scared, so I'm just going to tell her what to do and we're going to make it together. Yeah, I'm just going to let Christina guide me because I normally um, am running the show and <laughs> I'm going to let her take control. <laughs> okay, that's right. It's going to be a different change for her. If you guys want this recipe, you can check it out at rawflyorganic.com or check out our website fullyraw.com. And if you guys also want to find out more recipes, you can subscribe to my channel at Fully Raw Christina. And Miss Megan also makes a ton of recipes on her video channel as well, on her YouTube channel called Easy To Be Raw. All right, you guys. So here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. You're gonna need dates, strawberries, ones that are whole form, sliced strawberries, bananas, one banana to be exact, and the meat of one young coconut. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is because I'm making two love pies, one for, one for her and one for me, is I have these super cute little pie tart things and she's gonna get one and I'm gonna get one. And what I've done is I've taken some wax paper and we're just gonna put it in the bottom. That way when we make our crust, it will stick better. And I just wanna add in that this is gonna be a relatively fat-free, low-fat, raw vegan, 80-10-10 love pie. And you can eat the whole thing yourself. <laughs> Guilt-free. Guilt-free. So we're gonna take our little wax paper once we cut it and put it in there. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our crust. So Miss Megan, go ahead and put everything in there except for maybe a few days. Okay. That's right, go for it. Actually, you know what, just stick the whole thing in there. Stick the whole thing just in there? Just go okay. in, yep, go it. And that's about it. probably a cup and a half of dates. Yes. And they're pitted, not soaked, but they're fresh dates. One. Okay. Right. Gotta get super buttery all the way. And that worked out beautifully. Okay. <laughs> all right, so for many of you guys, who see this, you'll see that you can actually use this as a crust for any type of raw pie that you want. It looks okay. disgusting, but it's like pure sugar that butter. That doesn't look disgusting. It's so good. Like, do you want to just stick this in your mouth right now? Because we could, but we're, we're, we're not going to do that. And it's all so, low fat and it's so easy, one ingredient. One ingredient! All right, so what you're going to do is I want you to decorate the bottom of your pie and kind of like push that crust in the bottom. It's going to be very sticky, but that's what you want. You want it to be very sticky on the bottom. I'm taking, I'm kind of pushing mine in as much as I can. Okay. okay, so a little trick of the trade here is that if your dates get too sticky, you can wet your fingers with some water and it helps the dates to kind of roll off a little bit and that way you can press it into your pie easier and you see that it gives it shape and form into your little mini love pan. See, a lot easier. Okay, so you're gonna have really sticky fingers after. You can okay, you can just lick your fingers. Uh. That's a recipe on its own. It's called date butter. Date, fi date fingers. I should pop that. Butter fingers. Date butter fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay, so we made our date butter crusts, right? And we used a food processor to do this. However, for the filling, we're gonna use Vitamix Blender. And we're gonna make a little bit of creamy filling to add in the middle here. And so, what we're gonna do is I'm going to hand you my Vitamix. Okay. And we 
are going to put in our fresh strawberries that we got from co-op yesterday at Roth Organic and just dump them all in. Just throw them in whole? Throw them in whole, one okay. cup of them. And I just want people to notice that I left the leaves on there. Why, yes. why, why do you, is that? Why is that? Well, I don't know, can you guess why? Extra greens, I don't know. Extra greens, they're greens just like any other greens on the planet. They actually do have nutritional value. So for anybody who wastes a lot of time and not, you know, prepping and stemming all their strawberries. Right, it does take a while to cut them off. Just leave them on because you'd be surprised at all of the amazing benefits that you can get from just leaving your greens on your strawberries. Cool. Okay. So we are also going to add in a little bit of coconut if you want to add in some fat. You can add in as much as you want. It doesn't have to be that much. Okay. Just a little bit. Go for it. Keep going. If you want. That's up to you. This is your pie. Oh, that's funny though. Okay. And then you're going to add in one banana. Okay. Whole thing? If you want. Okay. Yeah, one banana. And then you're gonna add in a little bit more of the steak paste, actually, maybe like a huge chunk. Okay. We want it to be super sweet, right? Yes. Okay, this good. stuff is ridiculously sweet. How's that look? I think that and maybe another thing full if you want to. Yum. Okay, that's really good. The crust oh, is Oh, come be, on. The crust is gonna be like. Oh, I know, but it's just gonna be even more epic. We'll eat the rest later. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, and then? We're gonna blend it until it gets creamy, creamy, creamy smooth. Go for it, darling. just make this as a smoothie if you wanted to because it's that good but do you want to go ahead and add in your filling into your little pie I will do that all right here's your spatula go Thank for you. it yum this is, this is my love pie smoothie let's just decorate them with strawberries and make them look gorgeous it's exactly what we're gonna do look how pretty that looks and you can decorate your pies with whatever fruit you want to decorate it with you can use bananas you can use blueberries you can use kiwis you can even use more sliced dates if you want it to be even more sweet. I know. If you wanted to do that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna add a few more to mine maybe and make mine epic. Has to be epic. I love these little pies. All right, so what we're gonna do to make these complete and solid so we can eat them is we're gonna stick them in the freezer for about an hour. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's go put them in. Okay. All right. So Megan, you know, I saw your video about your fruit makeup. And I've always kind of wanted to wear fruit makeup. And I was wondering, do you think you could give me a makeover? Or maybe I could put some fruit makeup on you too and we can kind of play while we're waiting for our pies to get ready to eat? I can totally do that. I love to do my fruit Really? Makeup. Yes. Okay, so what do we do? Um, well, let's go grab our ingredients and then we can get started. It's really simple. We just have spirulina and berries and that's all we're gonna use. Let's go get them. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna show Christina how I do my fruit makeup. Well, actually I'm gonna do it specifically for her to enhance her features. I'm getting a makeover, you guys. <laughs> so we have <laughs> very, very simple ingredients. This is all I use to do my makeup in the morning. I just have spirulina, which is ground into a powder. And then I have some frozen blackberries. And I use the frozen ones because they make a lot more juice than fresh ones when they um, get a little bit melty. So it's perfect for combining with the spirulina and making um, like a dark purpley kind of black color. And then we just have some Q-tips. And what I do is take the end of one of the Q-tips and just pull off some of the cotton. Not all of it, just enough to have a little bit of, just a little layer on there so that it picks some stuff up, but it's not soaking down deep into the cotton ball. And then we just grab one of our berries that is slightly thawed out. And we're gonna roll it just like that on top and pick up a little bit of the juice and then dip it in the spirulina and pick up some of that color. And then we're gonna roll it again just to get the, get it nice and wet again. And now we can apply it. So we can put it anywhere, you can stick it under your eyes, you can use it you know, to fill in your eyebrows or anything like that. So let's start, let's go. Let's let's start by accentuating Christina's lips because they're so beautiful and we'll just we'll start up top here 
Just like that. It seems a little high, I'm sure. No, it's perfect. It's perfect. We're really just, it's really making your lips look bigger and fuller. So. Yeah, you know, people have always told me I have really small lips, so. Really? No, I have small lips. They're no, like. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. Thin little Irish lips. Is that cool? No, it actually feels kind of cool. It feels like I'm getting like a face painting or something. look good? Yeah, it looks really good. It's really, really just enhancing your features. So, and then, I know I've never really like, usually I use like red or tones, but you think purple is going to look okay? Is it like coming out purple? What does it look like? Um, it's kind of brownish, black sort of. Wow, okay. Doesn't seem a little gothic? No, no, no it's perfect. It really goes well with your, with right, your cool. skin tone. And then we're just gonna like accentuate your cheeks a little bit. Oh my gosh, so it's like a natural blush. Yeah, so it's perfect awesome. and that way you don't have like powder on your skin and everything like that. Okay, cool. And then let me just do the other side. Sorry, my hair always gets in the way. So this is perfect. And it's really like making your eye color pop off of the- Really, you yeah. think? Okay, awesome. And is I that think, it? I think that's, that's all, all you need. need. Yeah. You know what? Like, so good idea you now? The, the little... I really want to do something with like your eyes. Okay. You know, everybody always tells me you have like gorgeous eyes. So. Okay, so Megan has just made me look beautiful. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna apply some to her. And I've got the same color on her because she's wearing this gorgeous color right now, this blue that just makes me go gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna exact, accentuate some of your eyes if you don't mind. Okay, just a little bit have... close for me. So I see that it doesn't blend easily, but it's interesting. No, it's not. It takes it takes a bit of. So this is like natural eyeshadow. Yes. Okay. This is. And you can use other stuff other than spirulina. You could use um, raw carob or cacao or any kind of like you know just natural food powder. Oh yeah, this is this is hot, Meg. I'm telling you, like. Should I? Is this my look? I don't know. We may have some guys jumping through the screen right now to look at you. So you said you wanted like bigger lids. I just, mm -hmm. okay. I just want to make sure that I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not blending it right, but I mean, it's looking really like. Well, this is really good practice for you though. Yeah, you know, I, since I don't ever actually do my own makeup, like I'm learning a lot from you right now. This is really good for me. Okay. And there's a lot of juice in this, in this little blackberry. Thing. Yeah. The frozen ones are the best, they're so juicy. I know. I don't know, but like love pies, like I don't know, the shape that I'm making right now really just reminds me of a heart. And it's just awesome. I just can't even tell you, this is just like, this is awesome. Thank you for introducing me to this fruit makeup. Oh, you're so welcome. So, and it feels so light and natural on. Yeah, this it feels is awesome. like I'm not wearing anything. All right, so do you think our pies are ready? Yeah, let's check them. Okay, so we've just waited about an hour for our love pies to freeze. However, I do want to recommend waiting at least overnight for these to get absolutely hard so they pop out easier. But we're really hungry right now, so we're gonna eat them when they're semi-frozen and a little bit more melted. You can do this too, or you can just scoop them out with a spoon. All right, Miss Megan, so we are gonna take a fork and we are gonna scoop out our fruit pies. We're just gonna kinda get underneath the side there and we're gonna take it and we're just, all right, here's mine, coming out. He's a little melted. That's okay. He's gonna be better to bite into. Mmm. If it were totally frozen, it would have popped out really easily. But see, look at yours. He's much happier. Oh, she looks pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Look how pretty that is. And I'll show my pretty sad. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Thank you for making me love pies. I would love it. Okay, so now should we just take a big bite out of them? We should. All right, ready? I'm just gonna grab mine, and you grab yours, and we'll just take a huge bite. Ready, wait, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God, that is so good. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Do I have um, a pie mustache? No, I don't know why you think that. Hmm. All right, you guys, so I hope that you've loved this video and love this amazing recipe because it is to live for. <laughs> if you do like it, please subscribe to Fully Rock Christina, where you can see me and making recipes in the kitchen, or you can subscribe to Megan's channel at Easy To Be Raw. 
Or if you would like to learn more about cooperative communities, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel at Rawfully Organic. All the links that you need for this recipe are below this video. So I hope that you click on them and enjoy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>